Hello, and welcome back. Before we talk about risk factors and types of stroke, it is important to understand two important definitions. Number one, stroke essentially means a condition where the blood supply to a part of the brain is cut off. Number two, ischemia is a term that refers to a reduction in blood supply to a tissue or organ, which causes a reduction in the oxygen supply. This causes damage to that tissue or organ, which could be temporary or permanent. Risk factors. The most important risk factors of stroke are the following. High blood pressure, smoking and alcohol, diabetes, high cholesterol, and cardiac arrhythmias. Bearing in mind these risk factors, to reduce the future risks of having a stroke, lifestyle changes are recommended early in all domains mentioned before. To understand the types of stroke, let's first see how blood is supplied to the brain. The human brain is supplied with two circulation systems, one of which is in the front and the other one is in the back. Front circulation is performed by two big vessels, which are also called carotid arteries, and these serve major parts of the brain. Back circulation is also performed by two arteries which serve the brainstem and small brain. There are two major types of stroke, ischemic and hemorrhagic. Ischemic stroke is due to a clot and hemorrhagic stroke is due to a bleed. In case of ischemic stroke, when a clot or thrombus originates at a distant site like a plaque or a blood clot from the heart and then reaches the brain's block of blood vessel, it is called an embolus. Hemorrhagic stroke occurs when a blood vessel begins to bleed into the brain. This might happen because of a number of reasons. It can happen in case of a head injury, or bursting of an aneurysm, or a vessel rupture in someone with high blood pressure. Hemorrhagic stroke can lead to ischemia when blood supply to an area of the brain is disrupted, and it can also result in tissue damage due to blood collecting outside the blood vessels. In either case, when brain cells are deprived of oxygen and glucose because of a stroke, they begin to fail. If the supply is not restored quickly, the affected tissue dies, which is also called infarct. The resulting symptoms of a stroke vary depending on the blood vessel involvement and the area of the brain it supplies. Some common symptoms include weakness and a loss of sensation of the side of the body opposite to the side where the stroke had occurred. Don't forget, stroke strikes fast, so should you. F stands for facial weakness or facial droop. A stands for arm or leg weakness, which could be on one side or both. S stands for slurred speech. And T stands for time, which means that it is time to call an ambulance. We hope you find this video useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback. Share this video as it might benefit someone, and we appreciate you subscribing to our channel. We would also like to thank Dr. Sandeep Nimade, who works as a neurologist in Germany for providing us the content for this animation.